Check the time. On my new watch that Charisma got me for my birthday. Happy early birthday. Mm -hmm. It is um, 4.09 a.m. And we're about to get in a van in Arizona and go out to the desert. Yes, to catch the sunrise. Yeah. So we're in Arizona for an awesome business trip. We're in the Arizona. We're in the Arizona. We're gonna go get the sunrise and everything, but we're staying at the Omni Resort and we'll talk more about this trip later, but go catch that sunrise. I'm not good at waking up this early, but I think it's gonna be worth it for this sunrise. Yeah. Yeah. Same. I think this is called Scorpion Gulch. So we are going to push up and see if we can get some nice views. I'm falling in love with Arizona a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we love accessible trails. This is something that we've been trying to do a lot more often. So I love having a path like this so I get to experience what everybody else gets experience. We wanted to see if we'd sm spot any snakes while we're here. I feel like we're gonna see at least yeah. one. Being in Scorpion Gulch, we might see a scorpion yeah. first. But so. apparently they're tiny, so we'll see. Wait, should I prick myself? No! I prick myself. Babe, stop! Uh, uh, ah. Oh, this I'm okay. So dramatic. <laughs> Oh, that lighting though. It is beautiful. Yeah, I hardly ever have seen sunrises. So this is a special moment. This is like a really good picture. We need to take a selfie. I'm gonna take a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> it's so pretty. Cool. Check it out, rocks. I'm a little worried because we came off, off road here and there are holes everywhere in the ground. Yeah, there's snakes all over here. Are there snake holes? I think so. Are you sure? That's what you told me. Then we need to get out of here. <laughs> you look great. Thank you. You too. Uh, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> this trip was um, made possible by the Arizona Office of Tourism, mm -hmm. and they wanted us to come out here and show off all the awesome attractions. And uh, I didn't know that there were so many activities here in Arizona, but we have a packed schedule the next few days and we're running around with the team from Passion Passport to uh, have just a great time yeah. here in Arizona. And there's so many accessible things to do. So we'll show you all of the fun accessible things to do here in Phoenix and Tempe or Tempe. 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 Yeah, gotta get it right, come <laughs> Tempe. on. Tempe. Yeah, we're looking forward to these next few days for mm -hmm. sure. Wow. It just keeps going. That is the tallest pack. Oh my gosh. Y'all, it is unbelievably hot. Toasting right now. Mm -hmm. I love the heat, so I'm I'm really soaking it in. And the shade is is nice, it's perfect. Arizona has a lot of things inside, which is mm -hmm. awesome. So like you don't have to be outside and you can still explore the city and the state. But today was awesome. We went to a, oh man, where did we go? <laughs> we what? went everywhere. I know. It felt like. So we went to the Scorpion Gulch yes. Accessible Trail. And then from there, we went to a place called Ability 360. Mm -hmm. And guys, let me tell you, this place was like heaven. And it's like a dream for you know people with disabilities who want a gym, who want an accessible place mm -hmm. to work out, to swim, to play sports. It's everything. And not only for people with disabilities, it will buy to people too. Like anyone can go there. Well, when we talk about universal design, this place embodies what universal design means. You should go check out that video and um, it'll, you'll get a full sense of Ability360 and everything they have to offer. Man, it's almost making me want to move to Arizona just to use that facility. I know, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. So now mm -hmm. we're going to the Desert Botanical Gardens. We're gonna kind of redo our second date together because that was at the Botanical Gardens. Yes. But this time, instead of seeing Christmas lights, we're gonna see the desert. It's literally gonna be the polar opposite because yeah. when we went on that date, we were both freezing our butts off. Yes. And this one, we're going to be toasting our butts off. All right, let's go head off there. I showered and changed from this morning because y'all, when I say it's hot, it's hot. It's hot. Um, so. And if we now. seem tired, it's because we were up at 3 a.m. this morning. Yes. And then the night before, 2 a.m. So we're just, we're tired. Get in 
there, getting the bristles. Content creation. We're here at the Botanical Gardens, the yeah. desert Botanical Gardens. This is way different than what we have in Virginia. Yes, I want to touch the cacti so bad, but Cole's like, don't do it, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> Everything looks so dangerous. It's beautiful out here, you, look at this, yes. look at this cacti. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm on an alien planet, like this is like Mars. Maybe it is Mars, and we thought it was Earth. What? <laughs> <laughs> do, 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 do. You wanna keep going around and explore? Yeah, I wanna see more stuff. So that's what the inside of a cactus looks like. That hole, it looks like someone punched a hole in it. Are cactus, cacti, are they trees? I don't know, they're cactus. They're their own category. They're not a tree? No. We found our answer. It says, what is a cactus? A cactus is a plant that is a member of the cactus family. So cacti are cacti. They're all succulents. Oh, no one See, didn't like them. I almost said a succulent. I almost said that, but I wasn't sure. We made it to the succulent garden. Ooh. That is the biggest succulent ever. That, now that is a tree, right? That's a succulent tree. That's a, well, I'm so confused what's a tree and what's not a tree now. I don't know. Here's a little uh, shout out to my Lord of the Rings fans out here. Doesn't this look like the tree from Return of the King at the top, the white tree? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Happy birthday! I'm so old! It's gonna be weird because by the time we post this video, it's gonna be well past your birthday. Oh, that's true. Day three. In Arizona, and we got up today at 4.15. We have to be somewhere in five minutes at 6.45. We have dinner reservations at 7 o'clock in the morning. Dinner? Uh, oh, yeah. Breakfast. Yeah. I, I, I can't even think right now. It's gonna be delicious. It better be. I'm just kidding. Be. No, it will be. So we have a long day of fun activities planned. So come along with us on this day. This breakfast better be banging. I know. How was breakfast? Breakfast was unbelievable. We got extra dessert because yeah. it's Cole's birthday. I know, they brought out like this pancake that was a cinnamon roll thing. The Daily Dose, if you're in Arizona and you're in Tempe, go to the Daily Dose, that place was bomb. So we finally left the Omni Hotel and now we are in Tempe at the Canopy by Hilton. And here is the awesome accessible bathroom. Very nice, we love a big accessible shower. And some gifts from Tempe, thank you. A little marshmallow. <laughs> we got a cup, we got s'mores. Yeah, that was so nice of them. Yes. I feel so welcomed. <laughs> it has been so cool traveling around Arizona because like I, I had no idea what to expect. Scottsdale was a little bit different than Phoenix, which is a little bit different than here, which is like much more of a city vibe. It's so bright. I can't open my eyes. What do I do? Just, yeah, that's good. That's is that good? Look. We just had a delicious birthday lunch. It was really good. And they brought out this like extra sizzling thing on like this like drawer that had tortillas on the inside she took the tortillas out and put the food on it and then eat it oh that was so a great good. demonstration was that good i'm doing the macarena <laughs> so now we're at a place called the churchill and i'm really excited about this because it's a group of establishments like mom and pop kind of shops and restaurants and stuff like that all with a mind towards community so they all work collaboratively to sort of have this really synergistic space. Very yeah. excited. Yeah. So you want to try them both or you want to just go for it? Yeah, I'll try both. Okay, last one. Hey, it's We've, me, uh, Cole. Hey. Well, Roll so. with Cole has been taken over. Um, yeah. um, we're going to take you well. around Phoenix today and we're also going to be hitting up Tucson. No, we're not. Just I thought kidding. we were in Tempe. We are hitting up Tempe, Scottsdale, and Phoenix. We're gonna show you all of the inside scoop of every part of these incredible cities. Found it. Found what? I pounded found it. Found it. Hey, this hand kind of looks like my hand. This kind of reminds me of Richmond. Gives me Richmond vibes. This place was really, really cool. They were like a bunch of different shops. Everybody's just kind of hanging out in a courtyard in the middle. And something that uh, I've never experienced until we came to Arizona was most places we go, 
there are misters and the misters are on the whole time. And that's because it's so darn dry here. It helps cool things down, keep things feeling, feeling good. You're not overheating. The ramp that they had in there was super smooth and they did landscaping around it. So it was pretty. That's my jam. Yeah. I love that. Oh, it's bad. Oh, we're both going down. I, I caught you, but now I'm stuck. That's a good photo. Okay. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm gonna go on a swim. We're with the whales. I can actually speak whale. <laughs> Did you understand me? Yeah. yeah. Totally. What do you say? What did I say? Um, it's if I'd say I have to kill you. It's so cold. <sighs> We're freezing. Yeah. We're so cold. It's so cold. I'm I'm more than ready to get in bed and snuggle up and go directly to sleep. Same. So we're so cold because we went in the pool. Yes. So we were in our bathing suits, still wet. But it was great. It was so great to be out in the pool with you. So before that, we had dinner. Um, mm -hmm. What was dinner? Chelsea's Kitchen. Yes, Chelsea's Kitchen, and that was delicious. Mm -hmm. So we're going to show you more mm -hmm. of Tempe, Arizona tomorrow. But this was a beautiful birthday. Yes. So much activity, so much fun, an yes. all new place. All and new everyone spoil spoiled you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love being spoiled. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, we're, we're going to bed. All right, let's it's, go to bed. Yeah, it's tired. I'm tired. <sighs> It's hurting. All right, this is day, what day is this? Uh, day uh, Sunday. <laughs> it feels like we've been here a month. I we, know. We packed so many activities into every day. Today was the first day that we were able to sleep in a little bit, so we are more rested. Activity number one is breakfast, yes. of course, because we got to fuel up for another big day. Mm. Where are we going for breakfast? Crepe bar, I think. Crepe. Oh. It's crepe bar. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> one. We finished up our delicious breakfast at the crepe bar. Crepe. Crepe. We are at the ASU Art Museum. So we're gonna check out some art. We're gonna be given a tour. Apparently some stuff is off limits though, so we'll, we'll only show what we're allowed to show. All right, museum time. Oh, okay. Let's go. I'm finding the camera. Look at your outfit, you look so good. <laughs> that's pretty cool. This far? I don't really know what's happening here, but I guess that's part of the art. You gotta figure it out. <laughs> I think this is on hydraulics. The little thing bounces. Bloop, bloop. Right now, we are at the Tempe Beach Park, and we're gonna watch the sunset over the Elmore Pedestrian Bridge. P pedest pedestrian. Pedestrian. Yeah. pedestrian. <laughs> What do you think about the pedestrian bridge? It's beautiful. Yeah, it is. Really Everything nice. here is flipping beautiful, man. Yeah. This gigantic river running through the, the city here, mountains in the distance, and everybody's outside. Yeah. Which I guess makes sense because it's gorgeous outside mm -hmm. all the time here in Arizona. Yeah. We're gonna film some more too with mm -hmm. the crew. We're waiting for the sun to set a little bit, so we're just kind of hanging out. So we're at the Musical Instrument Museum in Arizona, and this place is unbelievable. Yeah. It's actually the biggest musical instrument museum like in the country or something. So we have headsets, and we're gonna be taking these around and learning all about the instruments and stuff. Cool. This is gonna be fun. All right, let's go into the So they have like all the different areas of the world, the instruments, but they also have a TV and people playing those instruments. And with these headsets, you just roll up to the TV and it picks it up and then you start hearing it. And so I'm listening to this man play his instrument, which is a uh, Angoni or Goni. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's a plucked lute. So this is called a theremin. Oh man. Oh, and man. so the whole idea is, the closer you get to this one, I think is the quieter. And then the, the closer you get to this one is the higher the pitch. So. <laughs> Go 
going through the museum, I was looking at everything and I want to touch everything just because I'm like a kid on the inside. But they have an experiential place in here where you get to actually play some instruments. So this is a Nickelodeon machine and it like self plays and it's powered by coins. Let's see if I can film it. attempt this I'm instrument. I'm gonna try to play like Claire de Lune or something. Wow, that was beautiful. I wish I knew how to actually play instruments. I might try to play something. Oh, there's lots of different drums. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. so which one should I play? So these are, I, I believe these are called a gamelan. Yeah, this is an Indonesian yeah. instrument. I'm playing the big boy now. Let's see, I don't think I can play Mary Had a Little Lamb on it though. Oh, Ooh. that was deep. Oh, I feel like I'm going to war. <laughs> Is this a war drum? We want to get charisma playing, playing a war song. <laughs> So our tour guide, Johan and Joseph are gonna do a little blues duet. So we've got a jam session going on right now. I think that's on A. instrument museum which really blew my expectations yeah, out of the water absolutely I wish um, we could have stayed longer so if you're ever going there give yourself at least three hours to get through it all because there's yeah. so much and it's so interactive but it's awesome and we came right over here to the olive mill at Queen Creek we're gonna do an olive oil tasting yeah. which I've never done before I thought olive oil was olive oil yeah apparently not so we're gonna learn about that today I'll yeah. walk around with the camera and let you see how it how it is but yeah if you're ever in Arizona this is a nice place to come for sure <laughs> oh girl, what is it? Oh. Oh. Let me get it back. No! <laughs> we thought we were just doing the olive oil tasting and then they brought out these appetizer trays. What is this? Is this a charcuterie? Charcuterie. 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 Here he is, the owner. He's here. And he's here, so owner man of hey olive, olive Mill is going to help us with this, uh, with our olive oil tasting. Woo. That's right, we're gonna do a tasting today. Let's taste the balanced extra virgin, okay? All right. Okay. So, do we take it like a shot? We're gonna smell it. All we're gonna do is just smell. Okay. okay? It's really like a light smell. Yes, it is. Matter of fact, you get a lot of banana peel out of this one. Yeah, um, you do, I do smell banana. Isn't that funny? Yeah. You're gonna take the oil, just take a little bit of it with a little bit of air. Mm -hmm. And then just let it slip down your throat. So go ahead, try it. You 
need to take a lot. Mm. I taste the bitterness on my tongue for sure. Mm -hmm. Like the tip. Uh, I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of pungency on the back here. Oh, I can feel it for yeah. sure. So as a balanced oil, there's a little bit of fruit, there's a little bit of bitterness, and there's a little bit of pungency. Mm -hmm. Whereas if it was the delicate oil, it'd be a lot of fruit, very little bitterness, very little pungency. Cold pressed lemon oil, okay, from Meyer lemons and Lisbon lemons, and I combine this. And this is what I make. Okay. So you can taste a little bit of it. You don't have just just put it on your tongue. This is not like you're tasting it like you did the extra virgin. Okay. Just imagine using this in something you cook with. Mm. Isn't that nice? Oh, yeah. I could I could taste that on the salmon. You can mm. salmon. Like, you can make some people make a salad dressing with it. Yeah. But, See, it's not, it's it's just a nice, mild, like, yeah. really good lemony taste. Yeah. Oh. Ooh, this one's delicious. Oh, yeah. That smells like we just threw it in the pan. Oh, yeah. It's, it's friz frizzling. It's sizzling. Frizzling. Yeah. A lot of people will just wow. dip, dip oil or, you know, even drizzle it on cheese. It's fantastic. All right, go, just taste it. Same way you do the lemon? Mm hmm Oh, man. That nice? It's so rich. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Nice and garlicky. We love garlic. We might need to buy one of these. That one's really rich. So we always finish off with a balsamic vinegar. My and favorite. I, and I chose the strawberry balsamic. This is going to knock your socks off. Roll it around a little bit. You'll notice it's very thick. Okay. It's great on a salad. It's wonderful if you're ever making a salmon and you, and you glaze it with it at the end. Look how thick this is. Yeah. It's like barbecue sauce texture almost, but it's not gonna be like Wait that till at you all. taste it's gonna knock your socks out. It smells really good. It smells like strawberries. Mmm. Mm, that's so good. That's really good. That's so good. Oh. How good is that? What? That's really good. Ice cream. Are you serious? On on vanilla ice cream. Well, thank you. That was very welcome. Thank you for the uh, all the information, education. Yeah including the five seas of Arizona. Citrus, cattle, climate, copper, and one more. I thought you are from Arizona. You gotta know <laughs> the five seas. Cotton, that's yeah. it, cotton. Oh, <laughs> cotton. Thanks, John. Oh my goodness. So after the uh, oil tasting, we came out here to this dolly boat or steamboat tour. So there's like a lake in the mountains and we're gonna go on a steamboat and have a nice fancy dinner together. Yes. Yes. So cool, look at the mountains. This is so cool, babe. This reminds me of the uh, the birthday cruise you took me on in DC. Yeah, but much more arid slash desert slash awesome. Shoreline, which makes it really intense for a well, I want to talk. have just a few blooms on them. So Warlo is only grow one place on the planet. It's right here in the Sonora Desert. So we are out here on the boat. It's yeah. really pretty. This has been so much fun. This is what I imagined Arizona to be. Yeah. It's gorgeous. I mean, there's sheer cliffs. But there's still beauty in the vegetation, the cactus. It's really yeah. pretty. I'm so happy that we get to travel. You know? Yeah, it feels great. It feels really, really good. This was so much fun. Yes. Oh, I'm so tired. Today has been such a long day and fun yeah. and a great way to wrap up our time here in Arizona. This is a birthday weekend for the books. Yeah. More than a weekend, really. It's been a few days. Yeah. But man, we've had so many activities mm -hmm. slammed into so few days. We've gotten every ounce out of, you know, Phoenix, Tempe, Scottsdale, all of it. We've had a true Arizona experience, babe. Yeah, it's been great and I, Love Arizona it is very accessible, so we yeah. were able to do a lot of activities. It was made accessible. I don't know if it's just Virginia, but the accessible parking spots are so small compared to Arizona. Yeah. All, of, all of the spots we've been in Arizona have been huge, and yeah. I love that. Arizona is great. We recommend this place for many people. We've noticed a lot of people having bachelor and bachelorette parties here, so 
Obviously, mm -hmm. it's a really fun place to enjoy. So many things to do. It, it's yeah. awesome. It's beautiful. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and, and stay, stay positive. positive. Woo. Peace. Bye.